Um, I just thought I'd do a quick haul video. I went to Tiger um, to get some more of these envelopes for Steph in Canada. But of course, wouldn't you know it, they've run out. They promised they're going to get back in stock, but who knows when. Um, but I did pick up this rather nice little woven plastic basket. It has little carry handles in it for my on-the-go stationery. Also, someone to keep my paper. So, um, I'll just go very quickly through what I've got at Tiger. I got some more of these call-out uh, stickies. One pound. I got these uh, ruled little kind of uh, scrunched up paper printed. I don't know if you can see this clearly enough. I'm not shiny. I'm not opening them yet. Um, squared paper, lined paper with a little margin and very tiny grid paper or with crease marks printed on. Lovely. Two pounds. Uh, a little tiny hole punch. I was talking about these the other day. One pound for a rack, actually, not for me because I've already got two. Some jingle bells. No, not jingle bells. Mini metal fold back clips. I use these a lot at work in my files. Um, one pound. I got this. For a rack as well. It's a multi stamper. I've seen these on eBay, but they're too expensive for me, and I've never, I'm a bit of a meanie. I won't pay sort of proper money for stuff. So this cost £2. Now, <clears throat> I bought two so I could have one, obviously. I have to test the product before I give it away to anyone. You can see that the ink pad is pretty horrible, really. Um, but it does the job. The stamp is fine. It's neat and tidy. It's got 12 different designs on it. I did a little, here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, there's hearts, there's kisses, there's peace, happy birthday, sunshine, a little, um, I don't know what that is, sort of decoration. Can you hear that child crying? Shoot the child! No. <sighs> if it's not seagulls and murderous cats, it's children. Don't get me wrong. I love children. I just don't like the squealing. Anyway, uh, as we go, diamonds, shamrocks, sweet little snowflakes, stars, uh, schmudgy little flowers. That's because I'm a bit schmudgy. Uh, and dots. So... 12. 12 possible decorating delights for two pounds. I want a snip, eh? Um, then I nipped into Paper Chase uh, because I needed to stock up on some more of their bright A5 paper. Um, usually I buy A4 uh, and then just um, guillotine it at work. But um, I'd just run out completely, so I thought, oh, let's just get some. But then I also discovered that they had this really nice pastel, this is card, uh, 160 GSM, so kind of double the weight of normal card, of normal paper. Uh, pastel, for when I'm feeling relaxed, when my chakras are all alive. And then bright, uh, not neon, just bright, good colours. Um, I'm thinking of printing my term, uh, term mark sheets onto these because after 13 weeks they get a bit ratty. But that's just a, an idea. Anyway, we'll see how we go. I'll update you if I do anything groovy with it. Um, oh, yes, yeah, something else at Tiger. Just have to go back to Tiger for a minute. Uh, I bought another pad of the decorative paper. This is the one I had before that I've nearly finished. Lovely, pretty. Um, as I said, it's a bit flimsy, feels a bit chalky, um, but it's fine for printing on, it's absolutely fine. Um, but I picked up another pad, which you can see, well you can't see because I'm not showing it properly, but it's kind of thicker. Um, and this is all 
Geometrics. Bit of a fan of Geometrics. I'm a quilter, so I kind of like anything with triangles. Anyway. Um, oh, look at that. But you can hear. Better quality. Slightly thicker, although it says they both say that they're 70. Nah, this one is definitely better quality than this one. Hmm. What do you say to that, Tiger? Huh? 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 Um, and then I've got some other stuff that I can't show you. No, 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 no. Because I'm going to put it into a rack and I want it to be a surprise. And the only other thing I picked up was a little pack of two uh, personal size zip wallets for the uh personal size filofax now i have got one um i've got a spring green chameleon oh, which is just beautiful um i think i bought it on off ad spot might be an ebay anyway i love it but i just don't use it because i don't use a personal because a5 is my baby um but i thought well i can put it in my personal and then maybe i'll be inspired to use it but actually I had to buy it because I had a disaster at work. I got to work today and what didn't I have? That's what I didn't have, my pencil case. And that is a total disaster um, because it means <clears throat> that I didn't have my Coletto. And as you know, or you should know if you've been paying attention. I am a colour coding freak. So it meant that I couldn't use my lesson planner at work. It meant I was completely lost for the whole day. And I didn't have my memory stick. I do actually have a spare memory stick at work. Um, so, it wasn't the end of the day, but so what I've done, oh God, long story short or what, I'm dying for a wee, but anyway, uh, I'll finish this very quickly. What I've done is I've put in a little personal size zippy zippy thingy thingy. I've put my multi friction red, black and purple actually, I swapped the blue out. And my other, my spare, perfectly colour coordinated, co co coordinated, Coletto. Um, you try saying that. Perfectly colour coordinated Coletto. With my spare memory stick that has my resources on it. So this neat and tiny, tidy little thing is going to go into my drawer at work. So in the future, I will not freak out. I'm going to write it a hundred times. I will not freak out when I can't colour coordinate. So, got to go. Got work to do, etc, etc. Bye, bye.